Hey, g'day guys, it's Troy Dander here. Today we're going to connect up the HDS12 touchscreen with the new Go Free uh, wireless application from Lowrance. So the first thing you need to do is have your Lowrance wireless unit installed in the back of your um, unit. So it can be mounted in, my, in this boat, we've got this one mounted in behind the dash so it's, it's uh, not visible at all. And um, it's still powerful enough that uh, it works fine. So once you get your installer to install the, the wireless aerial, uh, plug it into your HDS12 head unit and then what you do from there, you need to configure it so that um, you can get that head unit there talking with a, say like this Galaxy uh, 10. So the idea is to get these two talking together. So the first thing what you need to do is you need to go and find out what the IP address is of your head unit. Now if you go to settings, scroll down to network and then up the top there's a info. Now on the info it's got 192.168.0.10 Now that's very important you must remember that because that's what the same address is that you need to put into this other unit for them to talk. So the first thing we do is we get our Galaxy 10 and um, we go into our Wi-Fi settings. So we go settings and we come in to our list of Wi-Fi networks that are available. Scroll down the list and you'll see one in there that's called Go Free Wi-Fi. Click on that one and then it asks you for a password. Right? So that password is supplied when you get your Go Free Wi-Fi unit. Uh, it's on a little tab like this that's in your uh, in your box. So that you need to put that password in into this Galaxy. Just do that now. Okay, so we've put the password in, now we're going to connect. So it's authenticating and it now says it's connected. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to open up the application for the uh, GoFree Wi-Fi. So you go back the applications downloaded from your Play Store. Just click on it and in here it asks you what type of device do you want to connect to. So it's asking you for the IP address. So we know because that unit's saying down there of it's 192.168.0.10 so that's the address we're going to put in. So we add a new number and type in 192.168.0.10 Once you've typed that in, click OK and you can see now it is showing on here. So now what we will do is we will connect this one with that one. So you click on the IP address and you'll see on the unit behind it's automatically popped up and asked will you allow the handheld unit here to connect with the HDS12 unit. Click on yes and when you do that you'll see now it has popped up on the tab. So it's exactly the same screen on the HDS12 and on the tab. So you can control the whole unit by clicking pages. It'll change to your main menu here as well as on the unit behind. Uh, if we wanted to go to Sonar, just click on it. It goes straight to the Sonar, the same as the unit behind. It just mimics exactly what is on this. You can do anything on this remote unit as you can on the main dash mounted unit. So if I want to go in a split screen say, for example, I can go and split screen there and it's exactly the same on the unit behind. This unit will have a range of it, well I've used it at least 30 metres, so uh, it's a powerful unit, you can use it on a small boat or you can use it on a launch.